Hey guys, so in this episode I want to talk to you a little bit or I want to show you some very cool stuff that I've done recently. I was working on this project that I've already showed you and I needed to have some kind of a text, a text animation and I wanted to have something a little bit more fancy and I actually saw something on TV that I liked and I decided to recreate that. So we have this. So I just want to show you how I've done that. Now this uh, is done in After Effects and it will take a couple of episodes to generate that because uh, it's a little bit more complicated than it looks. Well, it looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is, but you have to understand different and multiple uh, concepts in After Effects to be able to generate that. So. Uh, to start with, I just wanted to talk, you, to, to talk to you about the concept. What I wanted to have, I have this section over here on uh, the, this video where I have some key points that I want to deliver regarding a specific software. So I wanted to deliver the fact that it's very easy to do and it's for free. And then I have another couple here and that it's... Uh, you know easy to set up so we have the word set up and then build and sign and then increase okay so i kind of have i wanted to have these couple of words break up this video because i have a lot of this uh, white video going on and i didn't want to have too much i didn't want to have too much uh, of the white because generally speaking, I don't necessarily ha want to have something going on for more than 20 or 25 minutes um, without some kind of change. So it could be that the change is a cut where I have this video over here on, um, let's go to motion and see this one is scaled to 45% because I shot this in 4K and this sequence is uh, 720p so you know I can play around with the size and that's the the really beneficial part of shooting in 4k so I decided that I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the on the very important points so you can see I have a zoom in so I generally speaking don't have anything going on the same thing more than 20 seconds or maybe half and a half a minute so here we are at uh, minute this is the time 141 so between 141 and then up to here 147 this is uh, six seven seconds and then i have that for three seconds and then i have this for um this is what a couple of seconds uh, six seconds and then i have these two uh words breaking up and I just wanted to create something kind of jumpy and edgy so I just wanted to show you how that's done it's actually pretty simple once you understand the concept so with that said let's jump over into After Effects let's just click After Effects right After Effects CC 2014 and let's open that up and let me uh, just basically show you what we've done we are going to start taking apart the project uh, well we're just going to start taking apart the project right now so basically what I have is over here I have one composition or one timeline where everything is happening and inside that I've used several instances of the same composition so let me just show you uh, to start with, I'm going to create a composition. I'm going to go to this button over here. I'm going to create a composition and the composition is going to be 1280 pixels width and 720p and the background color is going to be black. You can change that over here if you want, but I want the background color to be black and I am going to call this text. All right, so this is going to be my text composition and I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, in After Effects, the timeline is the timeline and where then this is the composition window in premiere it's called a sequence in after effects it's called a composition this is basically the same so we have this composition we know the size this is what we're going to see if we render out this uh, composition right now if you want to see if you have anything on screen or not you can click this and toggle transparency grid so when you see this checkerboard uh, uh, icons you know that you have nothing on screen okay so this is our text 
uh, composition and the only thing that I want to do in this composition is go to my text tool and just click over here and I'm going to type text you know what I'm going to do that with a caps lock on to have everything okay and now we have that so you see re uh, refresh disabled pre uh, release caps lock to refresh view because if you have your caps lock on you can't really see anything I don't know why that is but that's how it is so just press the caps lock to see what you have so right now I just have this word text pretty simple I want to align it to exactly the uh, to the middle so to do that I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to align and I'm going to press this for horizontal center alright so now we have the center and I'm going to press that for vertical center okay so now our text is exactly in the middle so now the next step is to create our animation so after effects has a little bit more options well not a little bit a lot more options to handle text and what we're going to do is just show you one simple uh, function so to access the animation engine the text animation engine in after effects you have to have your text layer selected and then you uh, click on this little triangle and then you see that uh, the text you have all these uh, source text path options and more and then over here you have the option to animate and what we want to animate you can animate all these things but what we want to animate is opacity all right so now you can see that we have uh, this option of opacity and now it's on and off and again as I said in in uh, After Effects the text option animation are a little bit simple uh, different you see that we have now a range selector so basically you can animate the text if we drop sorry if we drop the opacity down you're going to see what happens so you can see that we can offset the animation you can see that when I'm moving this around I'm also moving I'm basically moving this one over here okay and that one so basically what I want to have is I want to have this animation where things appear on screen but I don't want it to happen from side to side I want it to happen on random if we go to the advanced option we can go to randomize order and then click that so now it's on and now we go over back and then we can see that now if we scroll this we have a random text text appearing on screen so what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to move over here to around the first second of this composition okay so I'm going to go to one you can see the time over here and then I'm going to create a keyframe on start and then I'm going to move over to two and I am going to create another keyframe with the value of 100 so if we play this back you can see that we have a little bit of time where well one second where nothing happens and then we have that now in After Effects you cannot play back real time that means that we're in premiere you can just put your cursor on the timeline and just click the um, spacebar to show to see what's going on in after effects that's not possible and to see what's going on you just have to go over to the preview button and then press the play pause button and now after effects is going to render the whole timeline or you know this from beginning to end this is your timeline so now our timeline is about 15 seconds and our animation is not going to be more than six seconds or more more than five i don't think five is very good so let's put our cursor our current time indicator over here and what we want to change we want to change the length so again very simple to do that you have this work area 
So as I said, in After Effects, if you want to show something, if you want to see how it looks, you have to render the work area. And you do that by just moving these little two sides over here, just moving them and pressing play. And then After Effects is going to render everything and then it's going to show you like now. Okay. But let's say that we don't really need the the other the the seconds from five from about five seconds we don't really need a composition too long so you can change that by just going to composition and composition settings here we go or you can press command k and you can change it over here to five zero five and then press ok or you can just let's undo that or you can just move the current time indicator current time indicator to 5 and then move this over here just that the ending part if you press shift it will snap to your current time indicator and then you can click and click this trim to comp area and you have the same option so what we created right now is basically this text animation you know what i want to make it a little bit faster so i'm gonna drag this uh, keyframe i'm just gonna select that and i'm gonna drag it over here and i'm going to re-render this er work area so let's play that again let's see how it looks yeah that's fine so now we have the text animation again pretty simple you have a lot more over here on the animator options uh, we are actually going to go over most of that but just to start with i just want to show you this very simple animation now in the next episode i'm going to show you how we move on and actually create the whole project from scratch now I hope that it's not going to look too complicated because it's actually not too complicated once you really grasp the basic idea, idea of kind of sequences inside sequences and timelines inside timelines and different animation options. So I'm just going to break down the whole project for you guys and I'm going to upload it as tutorials to this channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link that is now on the screen and also don't forget to go into our website and download all the color correction uh, presets and all the light leaks and all the other cool stuff we have for you on the website so don't forget to do that and i'm going to see you in the next episode where we continue to break down this project for you guys and you can download this project from the website also so take care guys and i'll see you then